a sketchbook for writing out the ideas, Photoshop for collages, a separate app for documents, a computer for rendering, software for mind maps, productivity tracker, a mobile phone for editing pictures. Did I forget something? Imagine having an all-in-one tool for all of that. Well, since you clicked on the thumbnail, I'm assuming that you already saw what this video is gonna be about, so I'm not gonna beat around the bush any longer. Meet my dearest e-friend for all things creativity, copywriting, editing, and designing. I'm Anna, and this is a channel about living a creative dream life, using drawing tablets to your advantage, super useful and detailed drawing hacks, not to mention design aesthetics. I don't know about you, but I've always wanted to have the undo button when writing or drawing on paper, magically make all my 150 pencils more mobile, and have a user-friendly tool without needing to learn new software like 3D Max for photorealistic renderings, especially as a student. If you're having similar thoughts, well, then you're on the right video, and my mission is to make your life simple and more practical. I'll now guide you through all the methods of benefiting from your iPad on a daily basis. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the multifunctionality of just one drawing tablet. And by the way, I'm not sponsored by Apple or Procreate, just so you know, even though I'd love to, of course. So let's start with the collages. Basically, your iPad will turn into Photoshop, and I'm gonna briefly show you how to work with collages in Procreate. First things first, I'm gonna select an existing canvas size, let's say this one. After that, I'd like to recolor the background. For instance, it'll be beige or something like that. The next step is to import my furniture items that will be part of my future collage. So I'm gonna start with this lamp. At the same time, we see that we have to get rid of this white background. It's not a problem at all because there is a magic feature which is called the selection tool. You can either use the automatic selection tool or go with the freehand selection tool. This is how the automatic selection tool works and this is how the freehand selection tool works. I personally prefer working with the freehand selection tool. And now I'll get rid of the white background. And here we go. Now I have my lamp on a separate layer and without the white background. So, and now I'd like to import this beautiful armchair and position it somewhere here. And the same story here. So I have to get rid of this white background. And this time I'll be working with the automatic selection tool. This is not my favorite one, but in this case, it can work. Here we go. At the same time, I have to get rid of all these unneeded lines. Like this, these tiny contours. We don't need them. And now I'm gonna apply the final strokes. Done. And here we go. And this is the logic behind working with collages in Procreate. Of course, you can adjust the background color, change it or remove it completely. Everything depends on your project's type and goal. At the same time, you can adjust the canvas size without having to redraw or recreate your collages again and again. Voila. And this is how I use Procreate for designing my thumbnails. And here you're seeing some of them. Let's take a closer look to this picture, for example. You can add your own text by using the add text feature. You can adjust the colors using the adjustments menu here. You can also move your elements as you wish. For example, I'd like to uh, position my logo somewhere, let's say, here. And you see, I can do that without affecting other elements on my picture. I can make it bigger or smaller. Also, I can adjust its shape like this. As you can see, there are no limits at all. Something like that. Of course, you can work with layers, like similar as in Photoshop, but basically this is the idea behind designing my own thumbnails. 
and this is a separate app for documents and digital notes. And this is, by the way, an example from my interior design studies. But we see that we have all kinds of pens, erasers, and markers. Here at the top right, you can simply adjust your color, your color tone. That's it. So you see, instead of having to carry around all the supplies, such as physical sketchbooks, uh, markers, pens, or other like heavy materials, you can simply use an all-in-one tool such as an iPad. And of course, at the end, you can print everything out. It's not a problem at all. And this is my secret formula for working with flat lace. The initial photo didn't have the quality I was searching for. We see that the colors of the sketch are pale, that there is not enough sharpness and contrast. So instead, I always insert my own sketches. And after that, I always integrate them into the picture so that they become part of this overall composition. And you already see how many sketches I've already used with this flat lay. Right? Basically, there is no need to open Photoshop. This is an all-in-one app for all types of creative projects, I'd say. How about using your iPad for graphic design projects? Here on the screen, you're seeing my own example. This is a roadmap of my signature course, Make 3D Renderings Work For You. And no, you don't need to have to install a separate app for that. Actually, I'm now gonna quickly show you how to draw graphic elements. First of all, I'm going to create a new layer and disable the previous layer. So I'm now gonna draw a circle as best as I can and at the end I'm gonna hold the pencil down for a second and the circle will straighten automatically. And using the same approach I'll draw a rectangle. But first I have to enable the join guide feature in the settings. And now I can enable it here which allow me to draw with straight lines. Done. I can also color some of them, place them where needed. And also, of course, I can add my own text. Welcome. That's it, easy as pie. Which option of these did you like the most? I've recently become a fan of collages and designed them in every spare minute. And this is, by the way, the recent one, which I created for my brand new drawing workshop. If you'd like to draw it with me and create your own digital artwork, I leave the link to join it down below. We'll draw a material board in Procreate and chat about how you can use hand-drawn 3D renderings in your own projects. Besides, I'll reveal my top secret step-by-step -step formula for creating interior illustrations, so you know where to join. Your likes will help YouTube show this video to more people, so I'd appreciate your support. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video!